This is uh, West Bay on Percy Island. It's kind of a stopping place for uh, quite a lot of uh, cruising yachts, especially in the past. Uh, it's getting very popular now, but uh, more boats are cruising up here, so it's thing. But uh, there's a hut in front there, and uh, it's uh, got everybody's boat name in that uh, cruising boats over the years. It's uh, quite a uh, sight when you go up there and have a look at the, all the names. I've never put mine in there because I think. Uh, Cruising nowadays up here is a lot different than it was, say, 10 years ago. Yeah, this is the hut on uh, West Bay. It's uh, just got... Everybody that visits Percy Island uh, can put their name, name of their boat on one of the... Uh, on inside this hut. I haven't bothered because there's just too many. Stratus just in the outfield there. There's uh, a few boats in the bay. Lovely day today, best day we've had in uh, about three weeks. I've had terrible weather. It's been very cloudy and raining. That's basically where I'm pointing now is where I've got to go tomorrow, which is I'll oh, just pass that island out there. Keep that on your port and then it's 60 miles to Scarfell. I'm on my way to uh, Scarfell now. The winds are very, very light. I'm only doing about one and a half, two knots at the moment with just the spinnaker up. Just hoping the wind will fill in in the, in the day. But it's going to be quite a long, uh, it's a long way. It's 67 uh, nautical miles from the Percy's to uh, Scarfell. And uh, I'll probably be out here all night. Uh, it's a beautiful day at the moment. Uh, for speed boats, but uh, for sailing boats, we could just do with a little bit more breeze. I'm hoping as the day comes, progresses, it'll fill in a bit. That's little Percy over there, with, and has a lighthouse on. And there's the spinnaker. Just hardly filling and we're going along at one and a half knots at the moment and uh, we'll just see how we go uh, and uh, just hope we get a little bit of breeze. Yeah, I'm just, just calling it a day and we're uh, heading into Digby. Uh, there wasn't much wind earlier on, we're doing six knots now with a spinnaker up but earlier on it wasn't uh, flash and we're going to end up in here about anchored about 3.30. I was going to carry on to Scarfell, but I think the wind's going to die out, so I thought I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll just bank 20 miles and uh, settle with that. I got the autopilot going again. I uh, had to... It took me about an hour this morning before I set off. Uh, I believe there's a fingerprint on the... Uh, compass that was the problem so um, when I put it together I must have touched the uh, 
little card that slots in and I think that would have been a little touch of salt would have been what caused it. Anyway, we're having a nice sail in at the moment. Yeah, I haven't been to Digby for probably, uh, I'd say about five years. It's, uh, but it was a very good anchorage for me when I came here in a southeaster. It blew probably nearly 30 knots and uh, Stratos and the family survived in this place. I think there'll be a fair few boats in here when I turn the going between these two islands here and uh, drop the spinnaker and uh, I think there'll be I'd say four or five boats because it's quite popular. We're just coming in down there I've got the computer going at the moment just want to make sure where I'm going I'm just coming into uh, Scarfell the anchorage just round this bend here. I've been going from uh, Digby. I uh, started off this morning at about five o'clock and I've been motoring all the way. I've tried sailing, I've had the spinnaker up, had the Genoa up, and most I could get was one and a half knots out of it. So I've just kept the outboard going all the time. And uh, just about to arrive now around this corner, I'll be very relieved. I think I've used about 12 liters of uh, outboard fuel and uh, I put five litres in uh, uh, halfway across and I've got over 15 miles so far out of it. I'll let you know when I get to the end. 